Bachelor for Life here. And baby son. Gonna do a gonna do a video on a couple of uh, M Tech knives. M Tech is a is a brand that I was very familiar with selling years back, and I noticed that they've kind of upped their upped their game a little bit. And I bought two. You mean knife? Game. Yeah, knife game. I uh, I bought two styles here that are as similar as I could find, but kind of two sides of the spectrum. Yeah, um, butcher knives. Yeah, it's a the cleaver style knife. Both of them are. The first one is the M Tech uh, standard, and then this one is an M Tech Evolution. Uh, fixed blade. Yep, both fixed blades. <clears throat> and part of the reason I wanted to do this, I wanted to show some of the things that they've kind of done differently um, in in the two different uh, levels of knife that you're buying in the price range. This one up here, the M Tech, the standard M Tech, and you can tell on the box, usually they come in a black like this. It just says M Tech USA. This particular model is the MT 2025B, made in China. For a Chinese knife, the quality is 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 pretty good. I mean, it's it's obviously a knife that's directed to people that don't want to spend a lot, but they want a knife that's that's got a cool design and will hold up to um, you know some of your basic basic nice. work. Yeah. So this guy right here. This does have a, like a G10 handle, um, and it's it's in there pretty. I mean, it feels it pr feels pretty good. Like they did a really good job, you know, kind of milling it out and making it fit. As far as in the hand, it does feel it does feel pretty good. The ring is oversized, so your fingers got a lot of sloppy, a lot, a lot, a lot of room, a lot of slop to play there. And the overall feel of the knife, it's it's fairly light, but not not too bad it doesn't feel hollow it doesn't feel like a piece of junk so that's your standard and it comes with this little nylon sheath that can be placed you know two different directions horizontally or vertically on your belt so that one's that's kind of cool but really what drove me to do this was the M Tech USA evolution and this model uh, I think it says right there this is the MTE FIX011-GN. I I've kind of been out of the I've been out of the sales game a little while with these guys, so I, I wasn't aware that they were doing these evolution knives until just recently. And as soon as I saw them, I, I had to buy one. Now this one, G10 handles as well, comes with the liners in between there. Um, it's very smooth transition from G10 to the grit, or, you know, to the actual full tang to the metal, and the ring is just a hair smaller. You still got plenty of room to play, but they did do a little better job of kind of rounding that out and finishing that, so it's it's not really aggressive on on the original or the you know the the M Tech base models. It's still kind of sharp, and you can see some spots where. They didn't take the time to really refine the, the craftsmanship. This thing all around looks pretty nice. If this was made with, I think right, I think this is like an 8CR13 MOV. Uh, it just says stainless steel made in China, or US design made handcrafted in China, but it is supposed to be a little bit better steel um, than the predecessors, which they just come in like a standard stainless. But with that being said, if this was a, if this was marked with a different name with a name brand if a name brand company that had a little more clout made this and put their name on it i guarantee you it would be one of the hottest selling knives i've played with it a little bit as far you know i've kind of cut a few things with it out of the box it was it's it's pretty sharp there's a couple of spots that need touch up and and to be completely honest with you I would probably just run it through a strop real quick, and I think that would I think that would do the trick. This knife, on the other hand, it's got a good edge on it. It's got a good angle, but it's a little duller. It could use a little bit more love than just a simple strop. If you look really close, I don't know if you can get it'll come up there. 
but if you look real close you can see it's a very rough rough edge so the other thing these come with a kydex sheath and then the nice little clip so you can go horizontal or vertical as well and that is for me that's amazing because I've, I've been with I've been selling I was selling MTEX from a young age with my dad and this this brand was always one of those that we, we went back to and would buy you know quite a few of because it was a quality knife at a very low price uh, I think these I've seen them anywhere from 30 to 40 dollars and the MTEC USA this version those are going anywhere from I've seen them as low as like 13 uh, all the way up to 20 bucks so price difference of you know about 10 15 dollars but the quality is definitely there so with all that being said I'm gonna do a couple of measurements just so you got that information I'll let baby son uh, tell me just what do you think about the overall design I like it because it looks like a cleaver it does kind of look like a cleaver it's basically it looks like it was seven inches long is that what it is? That's seven inches? Uh, it's almost eight. But... Yeah, we're, at, we're about eight inches overall on the, on the Evolution. The blade is uh, almost... about three and three quarter. Yeah. And then thickness, I'm going to do handle thickness. Half inch. It's not bad. And the blade, almost a quarter. Uh, the other guy here, the how long is it? This it's one, eight inches. Blade, three. About three and a half, so it's a little bit shorter. It's kind of the same length as the original one. The thickness, the, the yeah. One. And the thickness on this one, a little over a half. But just show a couple of things real quick. If you look really close, you can see what I'm talking about. It's how how well refined the evolution is in comparison to the the, the USA. original one's, uh, top part is taller than the other one yeah I mean, it is a different style of blade and I get that but you know one of the things that I'm really trying to point out it's you know how well it's put together and how clean it looks uh, I wish I could have got a hold of a silver one like this so mm -hmm. it would have been a little more comparable but yeah well it's just like ha like look it's very close. Actually, no, this one's shorter. Yeah, it's a little shorter. When you put it, it's overall knife length. They're it's about actually, the they're about the same, but, but the blade, so the actual usable portion of the blade, you've got more blades. See that? You got more blade on the uh, on the evolution. But what do you think? Should we should we cut some stuff and see how well they perform yes. out of the box? So these are both out of the box knives. I haven't touched them yet. The time, these boxes for the, talk has passed. the time for talk has passed. The cutting test must be endured. Well, do you want to do the stab test with this one, baby son? Yes. He's <laughs> not going to stab nothing. <laughs> what a joke. I don't want to cut that. Oh, okay. Let's see. Let's do, the, let's do some tape. So what I did here, did some uh, duct tape, folded it over. We'll just see how well it cuts that. I got this. Sure. It just kind of rips that. Cut this stuff, but I'm not going to show it. Then. Yeah, it doesn't really want to cut, so it doesn't want to cut that. Let's try this guy. Yeah, Let's try the evolution. Though. Much sharper, right up. You know, out of the box, this one was much sharper. It literally cuts like yeah, it's just it should. a thing of butter. You know, that's one thing. That's one thing that I, I was hoping. I was hoping that these knives would show up differently, just like this. I was hoping that the the M Tech Evolution would come, you know, sharp out of the box in comparison to the the original, the M Tech USA. Do some paper. Okay. Well, this one would be the Evolutions one. Nope. Okay. Blade's not perfect. It catches a little bit, but it still cuts it. This thing just wants to tear it. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of how angry I get. I really just want to tear some paper. So the nice thing about this one is the tip. It is very sharp. Yeah, because it's basically of, the stabbing portion. <laughs> yeah, the, the the lack of stabbing. It makes up that little that little tip. It's just because of the angle. It it does cut pretty well. So that's kind of cool. 
it gives you a good purchase on it. The blade, you know, there in the handle too. The handle is really comfortable on both of these. The way they did these cutouts on both knives, it just it fits really well in your hands. Your fingers just kind of set right in the right spots. This one, the Evolution is much much more comfortable. Oh, we got some hair points. And the uh, the finger ring, it makes a big difference. It being just a little snugger than the uh, than the one on the left there than the Mtech USA. But what, what else this? we got? We found some paracord. paracord. I suppose I could chop up a little bit of paracord. You like tying up your paracord. The question is, will it stop? Will so it, it is a it is a cleaver, so we should we should do a little cleaving with it. Actually, technically, you should start going. <laughs> yeah, a little chopping. It's a chopper. I mean, it's a butcher uh, cleaver. I mean, well, it's not bad. I got to put a little bit of pressure, but the blade did come fairly dull out of the box. Now, will the evolution do better? Let's see what the evolution does. Evolution is much sharper. It. Yeah, I mean, you can it, almost push cut. It literally looks like you're pushing very hard on it, but it's yeah. technically not really. Not too bad. This one's this one's much better. All right, then not we sure. got some of this wire-like stuff. Yeah, let's see what it does to the blade. So I got a little bit of copper wire. Shouldn't we affect the blade too bad, but I'll do a couple of chops here. We got, it. We got some more of that. Well, it doesn't want to do much. Not a real heavy blade. Mids. We'll just pull it through and see if we can get it to, uh... Alright. Time for talk has passed. Yeah. The cuttings work. It that blade's very, it, it's a pretty thick blade, so it's not really chewing it up too bad. Try but it's not evolution. sharp either. Let's see, can the evolution... It's so this one I got much hatch. got much farther. Let's see what it does here. I'll do a pull it through a little bit. Yeah. You so literally it, cut it in half. Yeah, it works. So right there. The question is, will it cut? Hold on. Too bad. Dun, dun, dun. So it didn't do anything to the blade. More. <laughs> we got more. Yeah. It's it doesn't. It doesn't want to cut the wire very well. Let's do a, I can do a trim. Let's see how well it trims the wire. Yeah, we got some dish It's easy to manipulate the knife. I could see using this as a as an everyday carry. Um, for what I do. And maybe, you know, maybe a, a backup knife for maybe a self-defense situation. I mean, it's a cool knife. It's fairly inexpensive. It trims pretty well. Maybe uh, try some. Uh, yeah, I'll cut some hose next. I'm gonna trim with this one. But please, not to save me. Yeah, this one definitely needs sharpened up. The M Tech USA comes pretty dull. It's a good. I mean, it's a refined knife. I mean, you you get what you pay for, obviously, and I think. That's part of the reason I wanted to do this video because, you know, for that 10 extra dollars, you get a little bit better machining, a little bit better steel. You're also getting a knife that the Reapers. comes sharp. Dun, dun, dun. So this one, it's it's painful to try to cut through this rubber. Wait, so I'm if done. You, if you realize this, this is legs. <laughs> You're going to chop off the legs. So we'll just try to do a little chop through here. <laughs> Wait, what's the like topping that's like little like black circles? Wow, this is uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's very satisfying. For well, content. if you don't want to cut it, then it's satisfying, I guess. I'm pushing fairly hard, and it doesn't rock. Doesn't want to go. I mean, it's kind of cutting through. Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't be that hard. That's all the farther I got with oh, all we that. Try that one. I'll try this guy. Yeah, so much much easier, much easier with the evolution. We'll use this for experiment. Wait, here you can cut this in half if you want. 
do a little bit of chubby. I'd like to, you know, I, this one is a little more, uh, a little rougher on the hand. It is, it's kind of, it is kind of wide. It feels good in the hand. When you start to cut, you do get some hot spot. There are a few hot spots right here because of the way that's, the way that's cut. It's, it's so dull. It's kind of painful to even try, but this evolution, I'm, I'm really impressed with it. And a lot of it, I think, has to do with, not just how sharp it came out of the box, but the way the blade's designed. And when you're holding it, it's got a, it's just, it's just really comfortable. The, the, the jimping right here, it's, it's enough. It's not too much. It's got a little, little ridge, little lip right here where your thumb just kind of sets in. The, th this one's very comfortable to hold. Not so much here. The jumping up here is very aggressive. It is kind of rounded out, but there are a couple of sharp, couple of hot spots, couple of sharp points there. You know, I, it can be a, it can be a good knife. You know, a little bit of, a little bit of love here to the blade. The sheath really isn't, it, it really isn't that bad overall. Um, I, the snap, maybe for, for carrying, that's kind of a pain in the ass if you're going to try to, you know, take it on and out, pull it on and out, in and out. It's kind of false open right there. It's not really, you can't really get your finger in there. Oh, we forgot something. Oh, yeah, I guess I could cut the strap. Let's cut the strap. You're supposed to be on that, baby son. So let's do. Uh, well, you got into a little talking. And then hold this got. right here. Hold this tight like that. Just pull tight. So, with the tip, you can get a little bit going. Oh, you cut it. Come on, baby. Jeez. No, oh, that's right. Oh, and it's still. I have to hold it or yeah. else it'll start. Yeah, hold it tight. I'm holding it. I'm literally having I think I have butter knives sharper than this thing. Alright. Let's try this guy. I'm holding on. It's literally spinning my chair. There we go. So I think we've I think we've proved that the uh MTech evolution is comes out of the box much sharper. I think what I should do, sharpen this guy up a little bit and you know just kind of see see how well it holds up once you get it sharp the other thing some of the coating has already kind of worn off just from the little bit of cutting that we've done so what do you think baby son which one if you could if you had forty dollars and you could buy one of these knives which one would you buy well see i would probably well, if I had some sharpening, I'd probably sharpen this if I bought that one. But if I bought that one, I'd probably um, sharpen it a little bit, just a little bit, so it'd be sharper. Yeah. How it already is. Which which style do you like better? I like this one because of the coloring. Which this one are you point? One, which one are you pointing at? This one. The M Tech USA. Yeah. You like that? You like the design yeah, of that one? I, yeah, I like the original. But if you want a sharper one, you'd probably pick this one. Yeah, but since we know how to sharpen, we can mm -hmm. we can make both of them good. But you like the you like the M Tech USA. I'd have to say my favorite is definitely the Evolution. I like the cleaver design um, on the M Tech USA, but on the M Tech Evolution USA Evolution, I uh, I think that knife is is worth the extra ten bucks. So let me know what you think in the comments.